Without a doubt, the 747 is the Queen of the Skies. For more than five decades, the Queen of the Skies has been instrumental in encouraging long-haul travelers. With the introduction of new, more modern and efficient models to the market, as well as the contraction of worldwide fleets due to the COVID-19 epidemic, a range of 747s were gradually phased out of service, becoming increasingly rare to be seen in major airports across the world. Do you want to know more about it and why? Then make sure to stay tuned until the end. Hey guys, welcome to another amazing video from Aviation News. Today in this video, we'll be talking about the top 10 modified Boeings that were never built. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon to make sure you never miss any updates or videos from us. Now come, let's take a close look. Number 10. Boeing 747 Dreamlifter The Boeing Dreamlifter is a cargo plane with a large body. It has around 65,000 cubic feet of cargo room, providing commercial airlines with a significant quantity of storage space. To put the capacity of the Dreamlifter's cargo hold in perspective, a typical 747-100F jet could haul up to three times the volume of freight. The Dreamlifter was first announced by Boeing in the early 2000s. Of course, when designing the wide-body cargo jet, the aerospace manufacturing company faced a number of challenges. Boeing, for example, determined that parts for the 787 were too large for the Dreamlifter in 2003, so it began utilizing parts from the 747-400 instead. Boeing unveiled the Dreamlifter in 2008 after extensive testing and certification. The Dreamlifter is a massive vessel, measuring over 235 feet long and 70 feet tall. It also has a maximum takeoff weight of more than 803,000 pounds and a Mach.82 cruise speed. Number 9. B-747 Pratt & Whitney Tester A Boeing 747 with five engines is operated by Pratt & Whitney. The spare engine configuration allows the business to put prototype engines through their paces in real-world flight situations. This new generation of engines employs an innovative gear system that allows the engine's fan to run at a different speed than the low-pressure compressor of turbine, thereby increasing efficiency, reducing emissions, and reducing noise. However, in addition to having a lower environmental impact, the new geared turbofans have better FOD or foreign object damage resistance. As pointed out in a recent AOL Defense article, because they have a much higher bypass ratio, which means that a greater amount of air sucked by the engine bypasses the core of the engine where the air is mixed with fuel and ignited, there's a greater chance that anything sucked by the engine bypasses the most. Number 8. NASA's Space Shuttle Carrier In 1977, NASA introduced the reusable space shuttle. The shuttle spacecraft had to be returned to its space at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida after landing. NASA 905 is a modified Boeing 747-100 with a wingspan of 195 feet and 8 inches and a length of 231 feet and 10 inches. It's 63 feet and 5 inches tall from the top of the vertical stabilizer and has a length of 231 feet and 10 inches. It weighed 318,053 pounds without the orbiter. NASA 905 had removed all of its interior furniture and equipment from the forward number one doors after being purchased from American Airlines. The orbiter's electrical loads were then monitored by SCA flight crews and engineers throughout ferry flights, as well as during pre- and post-ferry flight activities. In anticipation of tours during the final series of ferry flights, NASA refitted the SCA with a new exhibit of images documenting the aircraft's history throughout its service to the Space Shuttle program. Number 7. Boeing 747 Super Tanker Only four Boeing 747 Super Tankers were produced, and they were based in Boeing 747 airplanes that had been converted to fight fires by a company called Evergreen International Aviation. Aviation enthusiasts may be familiar with Boeing 747-100, 747-200, 747-300, and 747-400, as well as similar passenger and freight carrier designs for the 747. Since the first Boeing 747-100 was delivered to Pan Am in early 1970, Boeing has manufactured and sold over a thousand humpback planes. The Boeing 747 Super Tanker is a plane that many aviation fans may not be familiar with. Evergreen was primarily a helicopter, agricultural, and forestry service provider, but it also used Boeing 747 freighters to transport freight. Evergreen suggested converting up to four Boeing 747-200 planes into firefighting systems and spent millions of dollars converting the first 747-200 into a firefighting super tanker. Number 6. The Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, or SOFIA 
The Boeing 747 Sophia, or Stratospheric Observatory for Infrared Astronomy, is fitted with a 2.5-meter diameter telescope mirror. This airplane, which has been transformed into a flying observatory, is housed in a 19,000 500 square meters hangar in Palmdale, California, among other NASA aircraft. It travels at night at high altitudes, up to 14 kilometers, to see the stars in the stratosphere in infrared. Sophia was able to observe the Orion Nebula, the region closest to the solar system, where big stars develop, during this mission in February 2017. As a result, a map of Orion will be created to define the dynamics of gases based on studies of carbon ion emissions, which are plentiful in star-forming regions. Number 5. The Boeing VC-25A The Boeing VC-25A is a pair of heavily modified Boeing 747s used by the United States Air Force or USAF to transport the President of the United States of America or high-ranking American policymakers, and it was designed to replace the VC-137C. The VC-25A can go 7,800 nautical miles or 12,600 kilometers without refueling. The Boeing VC-25A has a crew of 26 members, including two pilots, one flight engineer, and one navigator, as well as a cabin crew and a mission crew. Despite the fact that its 370 square meters of space has been altered for presidential functions, 76 people can still be accommodated in a VIP format. Number 4. Sultan Bulkia's Flying Palace Brunei Sultan has the distinction of being one of the world's wealthiest people. He has demonstrated to the world that he's extremely wealthy and lives in opulence, while facing several allegations from people who are envious of his fortune. He's well known for purchasing luxury items at exorbitant costs. The same thing happened when he purchased a Boeing 747-430 from Lufthansa for a whopping $100 million. He focused his attention on this private plane because he was willing to spend more money on it. He paid another $120 million to furnish the plane with a Sultan-like interior. Number 3. The United States Air Force E-4B The E-4B is a four-engine, swept-wing, long-range, high-altitude airliner capable of refueling in flight. It's a military variant of the Boeing 747-200. There are six functional rooms on the main deck, a command work area, a conference room, a briefing room, an operations teamwork area, a communication area, and a rest area. The E-4B has an electrical system that's designed to support sophisticated electronics and a wide range of communications equipment and is shielded against the effects of electromagnetic pulses. Shielding from nuclear and thermal impacts, acoustic control, a better technical control facility, and an enhanced air conditioning system for cooling electrical components are among the other enhancements. Number 2. The Boeing YAL-1 The U.S. Air Force Airborne Laser, or ABL, also known as the YAL-1A, is a high-energy laser weapon system that's carried on a modified Boeing 747-400F firefighter aircraft for the destruction of tactical theater ballistic missiles. The Air Force Research Laboratory and Team ABL, which includes Boeing, TRW, now a Northrop Grumman Space Technologies, and Lockheed Martin are working on the ABL. Boeing is in charge of the 747-400F's program management, systems integration, battle management system, and modification. The laser systems are being built by TRW. The aircraft was modified in May 2002, including the installation of the turret in the nose and modifications to receive the laser, optics, and computer systems. Number 1. Air Force One Although the call sign Air Force One is usable for any aircraft carrying the President, the destination has become most closely associated with jets developed particularly for presidential use. President John F. Kennedy utilized the first two of these craft, both modified Boeing 707s beginning in 1962. With the Boeing 747 and the McDonnell Douglas DC-10, Boeing and McDonnell Douglas were the only aircraft manufacturers to submit plans. Boeing was chosen to receive the contract on June 5, 1986, pending congressional approval. Let's know your thoughts on these modified Boeings in the comments section. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Aviation News, for more such exciting aviation content. See you in the next video.